Hey guys, so uh, welcome to lesson six of our uh, YouTube mini series. Today we'll be looking at uh, how to basically design in Illustrator uh, this vector scale we see uh, uh, on the screen. Um, actually, again, a little bit change the format. Uh, I'll be talking over um, the tutorial. You can see that. Uh, for the vector scale, I choose to work with references again. And I'm using two types of references. I'm using uh, just an image, and I actually pre-draw uh, pre uh, a little, like, um, little guides just to give me extra, extra guidance to, uh, to work with or extra help. You can see I uh, drew a little bit outline of the skull, um, outline for jaw and outline for uh, the nose. And uh, today we'll be actually working uh, mostly with uh, just lines and uh, the stroke, the, the outline. Uh, you can see I just like need to a uh, bit uh, rearrange the guides. And we'll be work, working also uh, in symmetry. Uh, this is probably the most important thing to uh, learn uh, in this lesson. Uh, that we don't need to necessarily always uh, like draw everything. Uh, sometimes if you have symmetrical objects, uh, you only need uh, to draw one half, then reflect it, and then if you're not satisfied, like do it again, basically. Just like delete uh, one half, go back, uh, do some changes, and do it again. You can see that I started to uh, already draw an outline uh, for the scale. Um, I'm not doing it uh, like 100% accurately. Uh, you can see that uh, the bone that is uh, protruding here on the side of the jaw. Uh, I didn't put it exactly uh, as slow as it should be. And uh, during the tutorial, I will um, I will tell you why. So basically, right now I'm just uh, like really fast uh, drawing the basic outline for the skull and for the jaw. As I said, uh, because we, we are working in symmetry, uh, we don't need to necessarily close the path. I actually did it here and then I went back and um, corrected myself. Because you can see I'm, I'm uh, drawing an outline for the nose and I realized I just accidentally clicked on the, on the path of the uh, outline for the skull. So I just delete the part, I uh, left the path open. I'm just like continuing to, uh, to draw other things. For the nose, actually, I think I close the path, as you can see now. And I'm just like putting in just like basic shapes, you know, just the nose, the jaw, the skull itself, and the eye socket. And uh, I'll be going back and I will do a lot of changes. And um, you'll see why in just like a couple of seconds or, or a couple of minutes. We can, yeah, uh, actually uh, did uh, bring the stroke thickness a bit up uh, so we can see it uh, better. And um, when I take the outlines and I mirror them along the guide or basically along the vertical axis, um, you will see that. Um, the resulting shape is not uh, so good. You know, like it's a skull, it's fine, but it basically doesn't have any expression. And uh, that's because uh, what happens is that if you just uh, draw the eye socket, um, it's a skull, it's a bone. It, um, there's no expression uh, to it. So, what you need to do is uh, basically treat. Uh, the bone on a scale as muscles. You can see now it's like, okay, we draw the scale, it's like fine. But 
it doesn't look really good. So it's like, yeah, fine, boring. So first I'll be just uh, repairing um, or changing the shape um, of the, um, the top uh, part of the scalp a bit. And that's also why I put the uh, side part of the bone a bit higher. Uh, because if you put it um, too low, it's like, I guess anatomically correct, but it really changes the expression of, of the scalp. And you can see now that I started to redraw the eyes a bit. And I, I'm like actually uh, drawing it more than you would normally draw uh, expression of eyes. If you go to Pinterest or Google or anywhere, you will find just like ton of references for um, uh, facial expressions. Like, um, there are these like cheat sheets with just you know like the ball and like with like big eyes and mouth, and how to create just a ton of um, of different facial expressions. And uh, you can just like tweak the the shape of the eye socket uh, based on that of the eye socket of the of the nose so uh, you will get actually um, like a not realistic expression but you will get expressions and as well you can just kind of like lift a bit the jaw or you can draw it from the angle or you can as you can see now you can change the, the shape of the eye socket and uh, thanks to it, uh, it will look like way, way better. But still, we are basically just working with, with basic shapes. And now, uh, when I'm kind of uh, happy with the shape of the, of the eye socket, I'll just start to draw uh, other like uh, secondary shapes uh, to help me to create expression. So this is like uh, this part uh, on the top of the nose, where there's usually a shadow. So even if it looks weird in the beginning and you think like, okay, but I'm not drawing glasses, I don't like, need to connect the eye sockets uh, over, the, over the top of the nose, but it, it really helps to sell the expression in the final illustration. The same will be, uh, will be with the shadows uh, like over the eye sockets and uh, normally where uh, your eyebrows would be. Like you should actually treat it as, as eyebrows uh, not as a bone. Okay, so um, you can see that I'm trying to, to draw. Uh, it's like one big furry brow. Uh, for now, actually, in the um, um, in the previous illustration I did before this class, I did like two separate eyebrows, and this is just a small experiment of like how one big connected brow would look like and you can really for example go nuts on the feet you know it, it's it's a scalp it's like um here i have just like basic simple shapes but the feet um, they are supposed to be basically decayed and you can break them down into like bone fragments and it's, it's really fun but it also helps to sell the illustration a bit more as uh, as you can see now I'm just drawing these like little cavities uh, in the upper uh, jawbone, and it will give you uh, a bit more kind of like terrifying expression, uh, if I should say so. So you can draw like those uh, cavities that goes up uh, the jawbone uh, in between the teeth, and the same you can do uh, from the upper part. Here actually you have. Uh, the bone under the eye sockets um, goes uh, a little a bit uh, forward, and uh, here on your cheeks there's a small cavity like um, where the shadow would be. So if you just drop um, those uh, those shadows uh, down from it, uh, it will look good. And also here uh, on the side of the of the jaw, I like to like draw small um, bone fragments um, in, the, in the dark shadows. You will see it uh, in just a couple of seconds when I just mirror the right side of the skull to the left. 
and then uh, we will start to just like refine uh, the details a bit. Okay, so what we need to do um, as well is to create like a thick outline um, behind the illustration itself because I like the skull is um, the skull is white and I just don't want to have like a black stroke, so I'll be creating a really black outline again, like mirroring it um, to the left, so it will be like a solid black shape behind the actual illustration. So just um, press O for mirror tool. Uh, with Alt and click, you will select the, the excess, copy, and then we still have to connect uh, the anchor points on top and on the bottom. And in just a couple of seconds, you will see that I did it right. But what I didn't do is to do the same actually for the uh, illustration uh, that is on top. So that's uh, why I need to lock the the outline first in the layer stack and then uh, do the same thing for uh, the outline of the skull and then change the color of the shape to white so we can see what, what we are actually working on. There we go. Okay, yeah, and I, of course, as, as usual, I wasn't way too precise um, with my mirror tool, so but like for this, it's um, um, I would say it's not that important to be like hundred percent uh, precise um, with the mirror tool. The thing is that um, what. Um, you will do anyway in the end is um, that you will actually uh, detail like both sides differently. You know, it's like not everything has to be in symmetry. So I would recommend to do the main shapes uh, just let's say uh, the right half. Mirror it, check it, okay, uh, do I have everything um, done as I want to? And as soon as you are uh, done with the general shape, with the eye sockets, um, just like medium level of detail, let's say uh, I'm just uh, working here just with the upper jaw, you uh, may want to add like a draw, lower jaw uh, to the scale as well. And then um, you will just decide what kind of details do you want to have mirrored. But the final uh, layer of details, I think it's really good to do separately. You know, just let's say you can have little cuts in the bone and uh, you would like to have them um, under the same angle on the both left and uh, right part. So it, let's say it goes like diagonally from left to right. And it would be like really weird if you would have it done in symmetry as well. So I uh, usually what I do, I will uh, after the first part, uh, I will just create the details separately. And uh, after I create just a couple of details, I will again like mirror them, check if it uh, makes sense to still have it in, um, still have it drawn in symmetry, and then continue on. All right, so basically uh, this is the main part of the process. Some final thoughts. Uh, I would really spend uh, some time on the area around the eye socket and eye see journal. Um, usually just the uh, eyebrows and eyes uh, would be, uh, I think, the most visible and the most uh, important part. And you can just like create 
like crazy um, gods or you can just like your you can give your skull really evil look very simply and for example you can draw um, like a little more flames in the eyes here I just go for um, just normal eyes you can play a lot with the uh, shape of the thief as I uh, was saying before and you will see um, in just uh, about a minute that I, uh, I created uh, one skull illustration uh, ahead of the time, which I will uh, anyway use in the uh, last lesson, which will be next. And it's way more detailed, I spent uh, like way, way more time uh, on it uh, than just on the illustration for this lesson. But I think I didn't go actually over an like hour and 20 minutes uh, creating the original skull. Uh, so you will see it's, uh, it's really not that hard uh, to create uh, this kind of like highly detailed art, uh, which I would uh, actually do extra, which we didn't cover in this tutorial, is I would bring uh, more illustrations from other artists uh, into your uh, uh, artboard or into your uh, working area in Illustrator and I would just like recheck uh, if you're creating let's say like a similar facial expression or you can bring in um, just uh, like photos of different shapes of skulls of how the skull uh, might be uh, kind of uh, destroyed or damaged uh, so you can see now uh, that uh, my previous illustrations or my previous illustration is uh, more detailed but generally uh, we are like right now we're like half halfway there you know it's it's pretty similar i think okay guys thank you for watching subscribe 